What is up, my tricksters? It's your friendly neighborhood, Yu-Gi-Oh! Superhero, back again! I know this isn't Master Duel Monday. I, I'm just, right now, I'm not enamored with Master Duel. And I, and I didn't want to make a video about it, because I feel like MBT and John kind of, like, are, you know, house champs, for those of you who don't know who I'm talking about, kind of already talked about what I, my, my same issues that I have with Master Duel. I'm just, I'm just not interested in it right now. Uh, I find that format completely toxic, and I don't want to play in it. And as funny as uh, this is hilarious as to say, because the TCG format isn't quite the way I'd like it right now either. Uh, <laughs> it's still uh, less of a you know pain to play. That's just my opinion on it. We're not going to discuss it any further. But anyway, the point is. Uh, Today I'm going to be showcasing you an updated uh, should all deck because I really more because I want to talk about the uh, the tech card that I am playing in here that I think is really good and extra spicy, and so you're going to look at it. It's going to look very similar to my last one. We'll we'll make some things. We'll, we'll talk about some other things, but uh, that'll be here. Then neither here nor there. Uh, I'm going to show you some replay footage. We're going to talk about some really cool stuff. Excuse me. I don't mean to do that. I'm also drinking my coffee. And, uh, you know, we're, I'm going to show you some really cool stuff in the replay footage. So check it out. Some of the, the videos are going to be, some of the, the duels are going to be more competitive. Some of them will be a little more casual. Uh, all of them were fun to play. And this deck is very much how I feel like a control deck should play. Uh, that's, but that's, that's a topic for another video. And, uh, before we get into the replay footage, uh, if you guys want to support the channel, two ways you can do that is through my, your playmat link, uh, it's in the description. I get a kickback if you buy something from your playmats, which helps support the channel, and I am so thankful for that. Also, if you want to support the channel, you can buy my merch. Uh, by the way, if there's something that you want to see in the merch store that isn't there, let me know. Maybe I can make it. I can certainly try. <laughs> um, that being said, uh, I know also last week that you guys only got one video. Um, that was because I'm, I've been having some sleep issues. I don't I don't know what's happening right now. I can't seem to stay asleep. And I also can't seem to stay awake for some reason. It's a very weird position to be in. It's like my brain is doing the opposite of what I want it to do. <laughs> and it's very annoying. So I don't know what's been happening with this week. But it is what it is uh, this past week. Hopefully this week will be better. You know, keep my fingers crossed. And, uh, yeah. So let's get into that replay footage, and I'll show you the deck profile on the other side.
right, there you have it, guys. This is the Shadal deck. You guys got to see it in action, but, but let's go ahead and skip all the stuff. The deck profile is pretty much similar to the last one you guys saw. It's just with a whole new tech card that I really want to talk about. This deck really seems to be able to take advantage of. Um, I know when this card was announced, a lot of people were thinking sub terror. I think that Shadal is the deck that actually can really abuse this card. It's called Soul and Luna. Uh, for those of you who may not be familiar with this card, basically what it does is you need your opponent to have a monster, and basically you and your opponents, you have one a monster on your side, they have one on theirs, and basically those monsters will switch whatever uh, position they're in. So if they're in face-up attack position, they go to face-down defense. If they are in face-down defense, they are now in face-up defense. It basically causes them to flip, and I love it because this card basically makes all the doll cards go off, and the really cool thing is it can... If utilized correctly, it forces negations out uh, on your opponent's side or disrupts them from being able to make said negations in the first place. So, uh, for example, one of the popular cards that we all see is things like uh, Hulk Fibrax, right? That that pain in the backside. Well, with this card, you put the tuner face down and, oh no, you can't make your Hulk of Fibrax. Oh no, pity. I'm not bitter. <laughs> anyway guys um <laughs> the point that i want to get at is like i really like this card um this uh shout out to my buddy andrew if you happen to watch this video you're the reason i even am making this video because i he gave me my first copy of this card so i started experimenting with it i liked it so much i got two more copies got a play set now in my own personal shit all deck and uh i I also probably should shout out my buddy Edgar, who gave me the rest of the Shadal deck, to be really honest. <laughs> so so thanks, guys. Like I said, anything good I get is because a friend probably gave it to me, or I got lucky and pulled it <laughs> straight up. Anyway, so you got Soul and Luna. This card is really just, I, I cannot sing the praises enough. Also, this makes it a really easy card to side out. This is one I know that's not, that sounds like a crazy uh uh, plus to a card like a lot of people think of it that might be a hindrance but no I disagree completely the cool thing is is this card is so useful uh, against any deck that actually does like need to have their monsters face up to use them um, so Sol and Luna is really really powerful especially against things like uh, it can be uber powerful against link decks it can be Xyz and synchro deck base decks because they need their monsters face up to use them not so good against fusion base but it is what it is. Um, this card also, fun fact, if you're up against Eldlich, put the Golden Lord face down. <laughs> yeah, then the other guys don't, they don't do as much. Just FYI. So there, there's there's actually some really cool utility to this card. Um, and, and like I said, the, the big thing that you, this is really a really big helpful ability is it can cause your Shadal monster's effects to go off right now. Oh, bounce that back. Destroy that monster. I literally, because of Sol and Luna, was able to blow up monsters that I can't normally blow up with Shadal Squamata in one game. Like, literally, there was a game where I flipped a Squamata on a monster that, like, was like, I can't be destroyed by card effects. <laughs> yeah, you well, you can now. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Um, also, FYI, if it's your turn and your opponent activates something, uh, like, uh, and they have a monster in the field, like... You know, like say you have your mathematicians or your Armageddon Knights, you want to make sure they go off. You could just activate this and flip them face down, and their imperms and their their imperms uh, just don't effect mailers don't work. So that's just kind of a cool little uh, you know double double use there. Like that's the cool thing I like about Solid Luna. Soul and Luna is like a little bit better than Book of Moon because where Book of Moon can only put things face down, Soul and Luna can also flip them face up. It's just it's. The only, like I said, the only bad part about this card is that it requires an opponent's monster. If it didn't require an opponent's monster to go off, it just said, hey, pick two monsters on the field and flip them. Oh my god, this card would be broken, but <laughs> we, can't, we can't have that. Anyway, uh, so that's the big thing about Soul and Luna. This, this is just the big update to the deck. That I, I also, I think I'm playing more, uh, more negations than I was last time. I've got Forbidden Chalice in here too, but that's just, you know, as things progress. I'm still playing the Dark Cavalry. Uh, I did trade out the Goddess from the last version of this deck for Dark Hex Sealed. Um, the big reason why is because Dark Hex Sealed is um, able to fuse for... There's a way to make out Dragon Sapilia. Uh, also, I can, like, if I happen to have the Armageddon Knight on the field and him at the same time, I can just contact fuse away pretty much. 
uh, without having to use Magicalized Fusion. Um, if you don't want to play that, you don't have to. The easiest thing you can do is take out Dark Cavalry here, throw in uh, Quintet Magician, and you could just take out uh, Hex Seal here, play a third Baylor, or you know play another Shadal Monster if you want, and Armageddon Knight you can take out and put a Mathematician in. And there you go. There's your more competitive stuff. And before I, you, I, anyone comments, yes, you can also play a Predaplant Anaconda. This is deck profile is based off of a physical deck that I actually own, and I don't own a Predaplant Anaconda. And I'm not gonna go chasing after one because I don't haven't haven't had the need for it yet. But I really like this deck. It's really fun. Uh, I would like you guys to give it a shot. Make all the changes you want to yours. Uh, this is just the version I like playing. Also, I think it's really funny to play Dark Cavalry because they never see this guy coming. <laughs> it's just funny. It's just a funny card. It's just, that's all it is. It's just a funny card. It's just got a, like a little bit of like meme memeiness to it, and I enjoyed that. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. I know that's not too much of a of an update there, but this is what I've been playing around with in my in my spare time when I'm, you know, trying to make myself go to bed <laughs> or stay awake. It's just kind of is, uh, it's been a debacle the last week. That's all I can say. Anyway, I hope you guys, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Please test it out for yourself, especially if you like more control decks or, and you're a little bit of an older school player like myself, you'll probably really enjoy this. I know I did. Um, and yeah, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to get to that 10,000 mark, and I really want the, my subscriber count to match my name. And it would mean so much to me if you guys would help me do that. So help me by sharing this video with everybody that you can. Share it in all the Yu-Gi-Oh groups and all that stuff. It would mean a lot to me. Anyway, guys, I'm Bitta That's Why Joe. I'm your friendly neighborhood Yu-Gi-Oh superhero, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. I promise there'll be another video this week. <laughs>